Check out FlipSideGaming.com for all your gaming needs. Use the promo code HEROES to save 10% on orders over $10. From April 2nd, 2021 through April 23rd, 2021, if you use this promo code, you will automatically be entered into a drawing to win a Strixhaven set booster box. Also, there is another way to enter where no purchase is necessary. See the link in the description below for full details. Hey there, this is John from Heroes and Legends, and welcome to another edition of the Match of the Gathering Market Watch. Strixhaven and Commander 2021 are on their way. As usual, whenever new cards are revealed, they tend to drive prices in the secondary market of existing cards. You're going to see a lot of that in today's video, but a whole lot of other things too. The market is slowing down a little bit this week compared to previous weeks. I was able to lower the threshold this week to $3, so every card we're going to see is moving at least $3 up or down. Quickly before we get into it though, just a fast reminder, if you go to FlipSideGaming.com, you can use that Heroes promo code to save 10% on orders over $10. Currently, you can pre-order Modern Horizons 2 products there. They also have Strict Saving products for pre-order. They even restocked on some Time Spiral Remastered boxes if you're looking for one of those. And they have a whole lot of other things on their website as well. Remember, if your order comes to over $100 or it consists only of singles, shipping will be free in the United States. And whenever you use that promo code, it does support the channel, which is always appreciated. So thank you. And without any further ado, let's get into it. We'll begin with our standard legal spotlight. This is where we look at cards that are standard legal that are moving the most this week, starting with one card that's going down in value. That is Kroxa, Titan of Death's Hunger from Theros Beyond Death. It goes down 497 to 3560. This continues to see a lot of play in multiple formats. Standard, Pioneer, Modern, Commander. But this did get reprinted in one of the Kaldheim Showcase Secret Layers, which is why the price is trending down now. Now for some cards going up in value. This is Grim Tutor. The copy, though, from Starter 1999. It goes up $4.53 to $122.50. This lost a lot of value after it was reprinted in Corset 2021. But now it feels like it has been stabilizing around that $120 price point. It even climbs a little higher than that this week. Being a tutor, you know this is going to see a good amount of play in the Commander format. Next, we have Chulain, Teller of Tales. This is the copy from the list going up 758 to 1358. Now, this was actually removed from the list with the release of Keldheim, so that's worth noting. It is rebounding this week after some losses that occurred last week. It is a very popular commander, and it's also part of the 99 of some builds in the format, too. And that brings us to the Pioneer Legal Spotlight. First, we'll look at some cards losing value and then some gaining value. First, we have Hellkite Tyrant from Commander 2016 going down 348 this week to 2945. Now, this sees a ton of Commander play. You're going to find this in decks like Kali of the Vast and Magda Brazen Outlaw. That's a newer one, plus much more. Even beyond that, this is showing up in deck lists around cards from Commander 2021 as well as Strixhaven. Here's a few examples. Galazeth Prismari, Alibu Ancient Witness, and Oskir the Reconstructor. So why is this card going down in value? Well, because it is getting reprinted in the Commander 2021 deck Lorehold Legacies. That is the same deck that contains Oscar and Alibu. Next, we have the Time Spiral Remastered copy of Thoughtseize. It goes down 386 this week to 3497. It had a pretty high price point during the pre-release time, so it's not too surprising to see it normalizing now as packs are getting cracked. This gets a ton of play, though, in Pioneer, Modern, Legacy, even gets a little vintage play. And it has seen increased play in the Commander format recently in the Turgrid God of Fright slash Turgrid's Lantern builds. Shiv and Dragon, this is a copy from Revised. It continues to trend down after some big spikes that occurred not too long ago. This does see a little Commander play, but this copy is going down $4 this week to $24.99. Here's another older card that's losing some value after some steady increases have been occurring. This is Sangir Vampire, but it is the copy from the Beatdown box set. This only comes in foil, and it does see a little commander play too, like the previous card, but it is going down 412 this week to 1095. All right, let's look at some cards going up with Anointed Procession. This goes up 354 to 4946. This was already a huge commander card, but Strixhaven and Commander 2021 are pushing this since there is a lot of token creation in those products. This is in new commander builds around a number of different cards. Let's look at some of them. Next this Auric Overlord, Sash Awaken the Blood Avatar, Hoffrey Ghost Forge. Felissa Fang of Silver Quill. That one is from the Commander 2021 deck Silver Quill Statement. Some players are just using Anointed Procession as an upgrade there. And the last card is one of those Elder Dragons. It is Shadrick Silver Quill. 
Now, the Command Zone podcast actually mentioned Anointed Procession this week as a card that you might want to play in a build around Shadrix, so that could have brought some extra attention to the card as well. Next, we have Read the Bones. The copy from Commander 2017 is drying up a little bit online this week and jumping up 375 to $5. This is a pretty highly played Commander card, though. You'll find this in many builds, old and new. As for Told is back again, it goes up 540 this week to $20.44. In Modern, you'll find this in Electro, Balance, and more. Also get some Commander play in Attracts of Praetor's Voice and other decks there. Additionally, we saw some Suspend cards reprinted in Time Spiral Remastered. That could be part of the reason this is going up right now. But the big reason this is moving up as much as it is right now is tied into an information leak that occurred about a week ago, a little over a week ago. If you don't want to hear about the leaked information, I'll let you skip to the next card now. There was a message board user talking about Modern Horizons 2, and this particular user has been correct in the past when it comes to certain leaks. One of the things they said was in Modern Horizons 2, you were going to see a cycle of uncastable suspend cards. That's what really drove people towards this card here. Next is Alenda the Dusk Rose from Rivals of Ixalan. It goes up 548 this week to 3556. This is actually being added to the list with Strixhaven, so that's worth noting. Very solid commander card, though, and a lot of popular builds like Edgar Markov, Tesa Karlov. Now it is another card appearing in early deck lists around some new creatures. Exodus Auric Overlord and Felissa Fang of Silver Quill, which we saw a few moments ago. And again, some players are building around Felissa from scratch. Others are just picking up cards to add to that Silver Quill statement Commander 2021 deck. And the last card in this section is Nykthos Shrine to Nyx. This is the copy from the list, although it is being removed with Strixhaven. This goes up $5.50 to $37.45. This is a little bit of a rebound from last week when it lost a lot of value. In Pioneer, you see this in Mono Green Midrange. It's a huge commander mana base card too, especially good in mono color builds. This has seen increased play in a lot of new builds though in the format recently. Turgrid God of Fright, Foreign Clex Monstrous Raider, Lathro Blade of the Elves, Orvar the Allform, and more. All right, that's going to take us to the modern legal spotlight. Let's see what's going down first. What is this, a Jumpstart card losing value? Crater Hoof Behemoth goes down 629 to 5898. Believe it or not, there was some Jumpstart product hitting shelves this past week, and a lot of Jumpstart cards are actually going down in value. Now, this is still a good card. It's in Legacy Elves. It's also a huge Commander card. It even saw more play recently in Lathro Blight of the Elves, Vorinclex Monstrous Raider, and Toski Bearer of Secrets builds. Phyrexian Obliterator, this is the copy from the list going down 1013 to 2924. One thing to remember with these cards from the list, I think their price long term is going to be tied into how many times they stay on the list. This one has been around since the beginning, it's not going away with Strixhaven, and it does appear to be losing some value after some recent spikes though, so maybe this is just some retraction. With that being said, this does see Commander play and has seen increased play recently in Turgrid God of Fright builds. Code of Arms. Now, basically, all the copies of this card are losing some value this week, but these are the ones losing the most value. Duels of the Planeswalkers goes down 739 to 2775. 7th edition down 1025 to $30.34. What you're seeing across the board here is retraction because of the big spikes these cards have seen recently. First off, this is a great Tribal Commander card. It has been seeing more play in Lathro Blade of the Elves. But the reason it started to take off recently is because of Sliver Legion and some other key slivers being reprinted in Time Spiral Remastered. That brought a lot of attention on those Commander Sliver decks. A lot of folks decided it was time to try to build them. And many of the cards that were not reprinted, like this one, started to jump up in value pretty quickly. It does look like we're getting past that, though, as not only this card, but a lot of the other slivers and such have been normalizing. Caravac the Merciless, the copy from Arch Enemy, goes down 1136 to 1799 this week. This has been a popular commander card. It did gain momentum recently as players started to add this to your lock of Scorch Thrash and Carter Doom Scourge, but it did get reprinted in Time Spiral Remastered, which is why it is soft now. Morph on the Boundless, the copy from the list, and this did join the list with Kel Time, so not too long ago. It goes down 19970 to 3650. What is happening here? Well, this is a price correction based off some market manipulation that happened last week. This doesn't even really look like serious market manipulation. Probably somebody just noticed there weren't a lot of copies for sale of this particular version of the card online, and they decided to jump the price just as a joke. Well, now it's back down to normal. I mean, $36.50 is what you might expect to pay for a card like this. 
Also, it is not leaving the list, so when Strixhaven comes out, more copies of this will be in circulation. When it comes to the playability, it is a very popular commander, and it is found in the 99 of some tribal builds like Dragons and the very popular Sliver builds, too. Alright, let's look at some cards going up in value. Snapcaster Mage from Ultimate Masters of 675 to 7359. In Modern, you'll find this in various control builds and more, Legacy, it's in Miracles builds and more there. Even see some vintage play. On top of that, it is a great commander card. It is seeing more play now in new builds like Orvar the Allform and Vega the Watcher. Plus, it is in some early decks around a card from Commander 2021. This time, the card is Veyran, Voice of Duality. Some players may pick up Snapcaster Mage to build around this card. Other players may just pick it up as an upgrade to the Prismari Performance deck, which is where this comes from. Vidalkin Ori. This is the copy from 5th Dawn. It goes up 751 to 6399. This sees a lot of commander play in a lot of different builds. Has seen more play recently in Yorn, God of Winter. But like a lot of the cards we're talking about today, this is showing up in some early deck lists around a Strixhaven card too. That is Belladros Witherbloom, and this does seem to be a pretty popular build-around card early on. As a matter of fact, on the Command Zone podcast, they mentioned Vidalkin Ori this week as a card you might want to play in one of these builds. Cemetery Reaper, this is the copy from Arch Enemy. It is still dry in the secondary market online, jumping up again this week, 954 to 2622. Now, this does get a good amount of commander play. It has seen more play recently in Narfi Betrayer King, but the reason this particular copy is jumping is just because there's not a lot of copies online right now. Nullspine Dragon, the Shadowmoor copy goes up 1355 to 1899. The Mystery Booster copy goes up 1545 to 1998. This has been a good commander card in a number of builds, including to have the Eternal. It's been in some newer ones too, like Magda Brazen Outlaw. Also, some players are speculating on dragons because of the summer set, which is called Dungeons and Dragons Adventures in the Forgotten Realms. But the reason this is going up this much right now has to do with a new Strixhaven card. That card is Dragon's Approach. I have been seeing a lot of builds around various commanders that use a lot of copies of Dragon's Approach. Thrumming Stone, Ways to Tutor Thrumming Stone, and Null Spine Dragon. The last card in the section is Doubling Season. The copy from Modern Masters really jumping up this week, 1596 to 9595. Other copies are more stable than this one, but they do seem to be ultimately trending up. This is a huge commander card, you already know this. It is popular in builds like Attracts a Praetor's Voice and much more. It's in new builds like Vorinclex Monstrous Raider, Coma Cosmos Serpent, Lathral Blade of the Elves, the Sika God of the Tree, slash the Prismatic Bridge. And now it's in some decklist based around Strixhaven and Commander 2021 cards. One of those cards is Belladros Witherbloom, which we saw earlier. Another one, though, comes from the Commander 2021 Quantum Quandrix deck. That's Adrix and Nev Twin Casters. Some players, again, just want to build around this card from scratch. Others might be interested in picking up Doubling Season as an upgrade card. It's in other new builds too, but I do want to save something for when we talk about Primal Vigor later in the video. On top of all that, Doubling Season also got a Command Zone mention this week too. And that's going to take us to the Vintage Spotlight. And again this week, there's so much happening when it comes to these older sets, we can't possibly cover it all. So when we look at cards from Unlimited, Arabian Nights, Antiquities, and Legends, we're not going to discuss them unless they're moving at least $100 and at least 10% on paper. And what I mean by that is the prices you're going to see on the screen, they're very similar to the type of things you might see in a price tracking website. But part of that equation is asking price for cards, especially for rarer cards that don't sell as often. So if true sales aren't reflecting the price that's on the screen, I will point that out and let you know what they're truly selling for. Remember too, there's still a lot of market manipulation out there. Just be careful if you're making any big purchases right now. So let's see what's happening in this section. We'll begin with our first reserve list card of the day. You can tell by the upper right hand corner. This is Squandered Resources. It goes up 1082 to 7495. And this is sometimes found in Legacy of Lauren builds, also gets commander play in the Gitrog monster and more. Beyond that, it is in early deck lists around Belladros Witherbloom. Next, we have Rafelos Lanawar Emissary. This is banded commander, but it is still popular among collectors. It goes up $11.11 this week to $106.97. Mana Crypt, this is a great vintage card, great commander card in a lot of different builds. Mystery Booster up $11.34 to $180.87. The original media book promo goes up 1362 to 36224. Next we have Plateau from Revised that goes up 1492 to 37020. 
Singing Tree, this goes up 128.96 to 899.94. And actually, yeah, high grade graded copies can hit this price point. High grade raw copies usually sell for about 310. Raging River from Unlimited. Now there's a little market manipulation around this one. In theory, going up 130.30 to 464.22. High grade raw copies are selling for about 150. High grade graded ones about 250. Badlands from Unlimited. Now this is a good price point for an average between high grade raw and high grade graded copies. It goes up 130.84 to 691.60. Scrubland from Unlimited goes up 132.29 to 787.49. I have seen high grade raw copies hitting around $700. Haven't seen any graded copies sell for a while though. Stands to reason a high grade graded copy though might even surpass this price. Bottle of Suleiman, the original one from Arabian Nights. It goes up 132.33 to 289.99. Just goes to show you some collectors don't even care if the card's on the reserve list. They don't care if it's been reprinted. They just want to get high grade copies of some of these old cards. In a lot of cases, have them graded. When it comes to this price point, this is kind of in between high grade raw and high grade graded copies. It is closer to the high grade graded copy price though. We'll follow that up with King Suleiman. This goes up 163.04 to 394. And again, this is an average price between high grade graded and high grade raw copies. Magical Hack from Unlimited. Now there is market manipulation. In theory, this is going up 252.31 to 316.38. High grade raw copies are only selling for about $45. I have not seen any graded copy sell. This typically isn't the type of card most people get graded. Guardian Beast, again, you have a price point here that's in between high grade raw and high grade graded. It goes up 314.93 to 1299.93. Mox Pearl from Unlimited, I'll tell you, when it comes to the Power 9, the price point is going to be based on what's actually for sale in any given week, simply because there's not a lot of these for sale at any time, and even less of them sell. This week, this is going up 358.16 to 3,771.49. But for the most part, there's lower grade copies out there in the marketplace right now. Island of Walk Walk. Again, there's market manipulation here, but the card is still trending up. So on paper, it's going up 456.43 to $1,300.41. Raw copies are only selling for about $325 in high grade, but that is about $25 higher than they were last week. And graded copies have gotten up to about $780. Merchant Ship, another Arabian Nights card that has a lot of manipulation around it. In theory, going up 913.94 to 1017.50. High grade raw copies only selling for about $130. Graded for about $260. I would assume, though, with the extra attention that's about to come to this card because of this price jump, the values will increase to some degree. The last two cards are Moxes, so just remember what I said about Mox Pearl. Basically, the same thing applies here. You have Mox Ruby from Unlimited up 1,076.17 to 5,975. And Mox Emerald from Unlimited. It goes up 1,432.25 to $7,000. And it is time for that Commander Spotlight. A good variety of cards to look at today. There's still a few reserve list cards that basically are only here because they do see a tad bit of Commander play, but are truly moving more because they are on the reserve list and people are trying to pick them up because of that. If I come across a card that's like that and I have nothing else to add, then I'll just give the price and move on. But you're going to see far less of that now compared to what we were seeing a few weeks ago. It does feel like that reserveless market is stabilizing quite a bit. Cabal Coffers, this goes up $3 to $150. This is the copy from Plane Chase. And this, of course, sees play in a lot of different commander builds, both old and new. It did get a push recently because of those Turgrid God of Fright decks being so popular. Also, I am seeing this in deck lists around a new card, Belladros Witherbloom, again from Strixhaven. Beyond that, this plays very well with Urborg Tomb of Yawgmoth, and that just got reprinted in Time Spiral Remastered. Escaped Shapeshifter, this goes up 306 this week to 999. Alluren, this goes up 309 to 10408. Now, this does see some commander play in Trulane Teller of Tales and more. Also, of course, is in Legacy Alluren builds. Anvil of Bogarden. This goes up 329 to 9950. This recently got more commander play again in those Turgrid God of Fright builds. It's also another Dex 2 in the format, and I have seen this in deck lists around a card we talked about earlier in the video as well, Alibu Ancient Witness. As a matter of fact, if you wanted to use that card as the commander out of the box, then this could be a good upgrade to the Lorehold Legacies deck. Tezzeret the Seeker. This is the one from Modern Masters 2015. This is a popular commander card in Urza Lord High Artificer and much more. It goes up 330 to 2303. Consecrated Sphinx, the one from Iconic Masters, up 331 to 4999. 
Huge commander card. I saw more play recently too in Coma Cosmos Serpent. This is being reprinted though in the Extra Life 2020 Secret Lair. Sakashima Student, the one from Plain Chase Anthology. It goes up 331 to 5792. This is found in Commander Yuriko the Tiger Shadow Builds and others too. Contagion Engine, this is the copy from the list. It goes up 346 to 2348. This is in Commander Attracts the Praetor's Voice Builds and more. Recently, it has found additional play in the format in Vorinclex Monstrous Raider and Finn the Fangbearer builds. Now it is showing up in a build around a new Strict Saving card as well, one we haven't talked about yet. That is Mila Crafty Companion slash Luca Wayward Bonder. Food Chain, this is the copy for Mercadian Masks, although this card is currently on the list, that's worth noting. It goes up $368 to $70.89. Big commander card and combo enabler in that format. Also sees play in legacy food chain builds, of course. Argothian Worm, this goes up 385 to 1526 this week. Academy Rector, great card and commander builds that are enchantment heavy. It goes up 401 to 155. City of Brass, the copy from Modern Masters jumps up 415 this week to 3705. In Modern, you'll find this in Ad Nauseam, Legacy, it's in Dredge. But the reason this card has been as popular as it has been all these years is because it is a huge commander mana base card. Ashnod's Altar, this is the copy from 6th edition. It's going up 419 to 1375. Highly played commander card, already showing up in some deck lists around some new Strixhaven cards. Exodus Auric Overlord and Belladros Witherbloom. In general, too, this could be good with pest tokens that are created in Strixhaven and Commander 2021. Also, this got a command zone mention this week as a card you might want to play with Hoffrey Ghostforge from Strixhaven. Bitter Blossom, this is the one from Modern Masters 2015. It goes up 428 to $60.69. Very popular commander card that does see more play now in Turgrid God of Fright builds. Also, it's another card showing up in some early deck lists around Exodus Auric Overlord and Belladros Witherbloom. In Modern, you'll find this in Demir Fairies as well as Orzhov Stoneblade. It sees a lot of legacy play too. Life Gift, this goes up 431 to 569 this week, and this does see some commander play, but. The reason it's moving this much right now is because it is showing up in deck lists around some new Strict Saving cards. One of those cards again is Belladros Witherbloom, but the other one we haven't talked about yet. It is Dina Soul Steeper. Uh oh, Vorinclex Hungi. This is Vorinclex Voice of Hunger, the one from Iconic Masters. It goes up 478 to 5875. Popular commander card that has seen increased play in a Sika God of the Tree recently, also in Vorinclex Monstrous Raider. Necropotence, now this is the copy from Deckmasters Garfield vs. Finkel. It's only found in foil. Harder to find, too. It goes up 479 to 126.98. Huge commander card in various builds. Sees vintage play in Doomsday and more. The original Ancient Tomb from Tempest, it goes up 517 to 7466. This one's a huge commander land. Also gets a ton of legacy and vintage play. Phyrexian Devourer, up 579 to 2998, and you might look at this card and think, okay, here's another reserve list card that's moving because it is a reserve list card, but this is actually showing up in some new builds around a couple of cards from Commander 2021. Felissa Fang of Silver Quill from the Silver Quill Statement deck, which we saw earlier, and this card here, Laylee of the Blade Reforged, and this one is from Lorehold Legacies. Phyrexian Devourer might be a decent upgrade to those Commander 2021 decks as well. Primal Vigor, the copy from the list goes up $5.91 to $54. This is basically moving for a lot of the same reasons that doubling season is moving, which we discussed earlier. This sees a ton of commander play, obviously. It sees more play now, even in Coma Cosmos Serpent builds. Perfect is an upgrade card to the Quantum Quandrix Commander 2021 deck. Or there's a number of cards from that deck you might want to build around and use this as part of the 99. That could be Adrix and Nev Twin Casters, which we saw earlier. Or it could be these cards here. I have seen Primal Vigor show up in deck lists around these already too. Essex Fractal Bloom and Ruxa Patient Professor. Skull Clamp, this is the one from Commander. It goes up 594 to 1397. Huge Commander card. This is in a ton of different builds. Recently, it's seen more play in the format in Lathral Blade of the Elves. And I could see in the future this showing up in a lot of decks with Pest Tokens and Inkling Tokens from Strixhaven and Commander 2021. This did get a Command Zone podcast mention as well as something you might want to play with Shadrick Silverquill from Strixhaven. And this is already showing up in builds around the cards Exodus Auric Overlord and Belladros Witherbloom from that set. Mana Vault from 5th edition of 642 to 11760. Highly played Commander card in old and new builds. Also does see vintage play as well. Insurrection, the copy from Plane Chase goes up 659 this week to 2450. And this does get some Commander play in various builds. 
It has seen more play recently in Carter Doom Scourge. It is also showing up in some lists around Strixhaven cards again. Galazeth Prismari, Hoffrey Ghostforge. This is another card, actually, the Command Zone mention is something you might want to play with Hoffrey Ghostforge. Insurrection always combos well with things like Phyrexian Altar, Altar of Dementia, or Ashnod's Altar, which we saw earlier. But that combo gets much better with Hoffrey. With that in play, whenever a non-token creature you control dies, you get to exile it, and if you do, you can create a token that's a copy of that creature, and it is also a spirit. Fountain of Youth, the original copy from the dark, this one feels like a buyout. It goes up 662 to 1350. Remember, this is not on the reserve list, it's been reprinted a number of times, only gets a tad bit of commander play. Still going up a lot, though. Force of Will, the Double Masters copy up 636 to 13761. Alliances goes up 674 to 14699. Highly played Commander Legacy and Vintage card. Mammoth Harness, this looks like another reserveless buyout. It goes up 703 to 997. Sliver Queen, now this is the Sliver Lord that is on the reserve list. And I mentioned earlier the Slivers are starting to calm down. Initially, they got hot because of that reprinting of Sliver Legion and some other Slivers that were in Time Spiral Remastered. Now, this is going up this week, 705 to 579.53, but it was worth more a few weeks ago. It did lose some value. It's climbing back up now, trying to find its true price point. Diabolic Intent. This is the copy from Plane Shift. It goes up 750 to 4894. Huge commander card, and another one that is showing up on some deck lists around a couple cards we've mentioned a lot today Belladros Witherbloom and Exodus Auric Overlord. Thran Quarry from Urza Saga, up 1111 to 1948. This is a solid commander card in creature-heavy multicolor builds like the very popular Sliver decks, for example. It's also getting harder and harder to find in good condition. Mastercore from Urza's Destiny, it goes up 1156 to 3826. This gets a little commander play, but really moving because of its status on the reserve list. Ufiomancer goes up 1168 this week to 3999. This card's really climbing. Popular Commander card in Yawgmoth, Thran Physician, and much more. I have seen this in some early deck lists around strict saving cards. You know them, you love them. Exodus Auric Overlord and Belladros Witherbloom. Also, this feels like it could be good in a build around this card here. Blex Vexing Pest slash Search for Blex. Wave of Terror. This looks like another reserve list buyout going up 1332 to 1844. Mana Web is up 1509 to 5999 this week. This saw some more playing Commander not too long ago, and those Earlock of Scorch Thrash builds also shows up in some other decks in the format. All right, here we go. It's Ragman from the Dark. Now remember, this is not on the reserve list. It has been reprinted. You can find really, really cheap copies. This copy, though, jumping up 52.68 to 59.98 on paper this week. Well, clearly, this is a buyout. It also has some manipulation attached to it. Raw copies are only selling for about 5 to $7. I haven't seen any graded copies. This hasn't been the type of card in the past people have wanted to really get graded. It does see a tad bit of commander play, but not much. All right, the last card in this section is a reserve list card jumping up a lot. Now, it's not really worth this much. We'll go into those details in just a second. But this card has been jumping for a while now. I have noticed, however, since it has been increasing in value, the commander play it's been seeing has also been increasing. I think people just might have noticed this card for the first time when they saw the price jumping and realized it might not be a bad card to put in some builds. Now on paper, it's going up 56.49 this week to 148.48. Raw copies are selling for about 100 to 110 dollars. Although I haven't seen any graded copies sell recently, it has been seen Commander play in Lisa Shroud of Dusk and other decks in the format, and it's even showing up in early builds around a strict saving card we haven't talked about yet, and that's Killian Inc. Duelist. And that takes us to the premium spotlight. Like I have been saying over the last few weeks now, there's just so much activity when it comes to premium cards. We're going to talk about a few here, but this is just a drop in the bucket. I could do a series of videos all week just on premium cards and probably still have more to talk about. But remember, with all that activity in the secondary market, there is a lot of market manipulation out there too. So just be really careful if you're making a big purchase. So let's look at the cards I chose to spotlight this week. As foretold, the Amonkhet foil going up 1241 to 4475. The pre release promo goes up 1804 to 4249. Now, when it comes to true sales, the high grade Amonkhet copies have been selling for about $35, which isn't 4475, but it is $15 higher than they were selling last week. The pre release promo has only been selling for about $20, but there hasn't been that many copies for sale. 
Noel Spine Dragon. This is the foil from Shadowmoor, and the Shadowmoor copy is the only foil that exists, so it might be time to use my one per video. You thought I forgot, didn't you? Well, during this time period of magic, you might have heard that there was a recession in the game, less packs were cracked, so some of these rares, if they haven't been reprinted, or in this case, if you haven't got a reprinting in foil, they tend to get a little spiky when people pay attention to them. In theory, this one's going up $20.64 this week to $116.80. In reality, though, there haven't been a lot of copies for sale. The highest sale I've seen is around $27, but if there were more copies out there over the course of the last few days, I do think they would have sold for more. Next, we have Life Gift. This is the Betrayers of Kamigawa Foil. It goes up $27.71 to $29.95. Not many of these at all have been for sale. The copies that have sold only sold for about a dollar or two but that was before the price increase of the regular copy of the card. So again, I think in the future you are going to see higher sales for the foils. Spell Weaver Helix, the foil from Mirrodin. It goes up $28 to $48 in theory. Now, I tried really hard to find sales. I could only find a handful, and I really couldn't find a lot of copies for sale either. Now, when it comes to true sales, they were selling for about $16.50. Not quite $48, but I do think the next time these sell, they could be selling for more. This card has been showing up in various commander builds with Rumming Stone and the card we saw earlier, Dragon's Approach. Anointed Procession is next. The Amonkhet foil up $19.77 to $78.88. The pre-release promo goes up $30.51 to $119.99. Is that for real? Again, I'm not seeing a lot of sales. That could change, of course, when people see these prices. They might start putting copies out there for sale. But currently, the recent sales for both versions of this card have been between $35 to $40. And the last card in this section is Mox Diamond, the copy from From the Vault Relics. It goes up $228.82 to $1,120. When it comes to that price point, though, that is kind of an average between high-grade raw and high-grade graded copies. This is a popular Commander card, also sees play in Legacy Lands and more. Also got a Command Zone mention this week, too. That's going to do it for this episode of the Magic the Gathering Market Watch. And if you made it this far, thanks for sticking with me. Until next time, as always, stay safe out there. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe and have a great day. Hey, thanks for watching. This video is made possible through the generous support of viewers like you on Patreon. Check out the description below for links to our Patreon page as well as our Amazon affiliate store where a small percentage of all sales will also help support the channel. Finally, if you haven't had a chance yet to subscribe, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the new videos on Heroes and Legends. Talk to you again soon and have a great day.